Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So uh, this is going to be a fruit inspired water marble video. And the first one is going to be uh, watermelon inspired. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with two shades of green. I have a lighter green and a darker green. Now I am just going to go ahead and add one drop of white. And then to finish off the design, I'm just going to go ahead and add one drop of pink. Actually, I'm going to do maybe two more drops of the pink. And then I'm just going to actually just shake the cup so that the pink spreads a little bit more. I had to add a few more drops of pink because I do want the nail to pick up a lot of pink. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my design. So that is going to be uh, my design. As you can see, it's more of an abstract water marble. I have one fake nail here and I am going to go ahead and aim for this spot right here. And of course, if you have another nail, you can line up this other part and aim for that other part. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip down. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up the surface. And now I'm going to slowly pull out. And there is the water marble design. And of course, uh, we want to add some seeds. So we want to let this completely dry. And we will be back to add some seeds to make it look a little bit more realistic. So this was the watermelon design that we worked on earlier. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and embellish this one with some black dots. So I will get some black nail polish here. And then I am just going to add a few dots to this look to complete it. So I am using a very small size dotting tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a few dots. completes the nail and I think this one looks really nice I really like the way it turned out hi everyone welcome back so this second look is gonna be a kiwi design so I'm gonna go ahead and use again two shades of green uh, a darker green and a lighter green Now I'm just going to go ahead and add one drop of white right in the center. Now I'm going to take my toothpick and do a design. So I'm sort of doing a flower design, but I am not going over to the center because I want that center to stay nice and white because this is a kiwi inspired nail art. So I kind of want to simulate the kiwi as much as possible. Okay, now I want to clean it up a little bit and just by repeatedly dipping down to clean up the corners.
And since I want, I am going for the center, I want to go ahead and dip down to shrink the center so that um, I can go ahead and pick up more of the green on the side. So you're just going to repeatedly, slowly but carefully dip down to shrink the white part. And for me, I think this is good enough. I'm going to just clean up a little bit more to give it um, the view of more or less a cross section of the kiwi. So I'm going to go ahead and take my fake nail and I'm going to go ahead and aim for the center and I'm going to go ahead and dip down in there. So I pick up the center design. Now I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the surface. Now I am going to slowly remove the nail from the water and let me just show you this design. Right now it doesn't look like much but after we decorate it with the seeds uh, it will look more like a cross section of a kiwi. So this is the kiwi nail that we worked on earlier and now I am going to add some embellishment to it. First, I will go ahead and add some black dots. Again, I am using a very small size dotting tool so that I can add small dots. Here is the dotting tool. So, um, I am just going to add a circle of black dots right outside um, the white. Because I think kiwi has a lot of uh, black seeds right on the edge of the white part. So what I did off camera was I lined the entire nail with a brown nail polish to give it more the look of a cross section of a kiwi. So I really liked how this turned out and I hope you like this one as well. Hi everyone. So for this uh, water marble, I'm gonna go ahead and do the dragon fruit. Um, I'm not too familiar with the dragon fruit, but um, I think it's very interesting looking. Uh, and it's very colorful. It's definitely really pretty. And um, I think I had it one time because it's not really a common fruit here and um, I've seen it maybe I first saw it maybe like four or five years ago and I thought the fruit was really really interesting looking and that's why I am doing a water marble for the dragon fruit um, I have two shades of green now I'm gonna go ahead and use two shades of pink I think this uh, fruit is really colorful and bright and pretty. Now I'm gonna finish off the bozai with uh, maybe a few drops of the white. Okay, now I am gonna go ahead and draw my design. So I want to go to the top and go to the bottom. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and take my nail and I am going to aim right here. So it picks up some of the white and it picks up some of the pinks and also a little bit of the green which is the color of the dragon fruit. Actually I'm going to go ahead and pick the spot because I like the spot a little bit more. And right now, it doesn't really look like a dragon fruit, but I am going to go ahead and add the seeds so that it will look more like a dragon fruit. So this is the last one, and it's the dragon fruit. And it actually didn't turn out that well at all. Um, I was kind of a little bit disappointed at this design, but I'm trying to make the most out of this, this 
design by um, using my dotting tool and just try to get more of the dragon fruit look. So I am using a fairly small dotting tool but it's bigger than the ones that we use for adding the dots for the two previous designs and I have this dark pink polish which is the same dark pink that I use for the design itself and I am just going to add a whole bunch of pink dots all over so that the design looks a little bit neater Now I am going to go ahead and uh, add a few black dots on the white part to try to imitate the look of the dragon fruit seeds. Again, I'm, I am using the smallest dotting tool. Just gonna go ahead and actually only add a few seeds. Like that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and mix my white and black to get a gray color because um, the dragon fruit has a lot of uh, gray seeds. Now so I am going to go ahead and add some gray seeds. So here is the finished design of the abstract dragon fruit. I think the colors are all there but I'm just not 100% happy with how it came out and um, I think I will probably repeat this in the future to try to get it more accurate. Um, but anyways I hope you enjoyed my video and I will see you next time. Bye!